For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, let's get straight into the video. A few weeks ago, some investors might have been worried that the bull market was coming to a sudden stop. This concern was understandable, especially considering the fluctuations and uncertainties that have plagued the market in recent times. However, as things have progressed, those fears should now be significantly diminished. The stock market continues to demonstrate resilience, and for investors who are focused on the long term, this could be an ideal moment to reevaluate their portfolios. When you are planning to hold stocks for an extended period, nearly any time can be a good time to invest. This is particularly true for stocks that pay strong dividends. Dividend stocks offer a unique advantage because they provide consistent income through regular payments, regardless of the short-term volatility that often shakes the market. This consistency can be incredibly valuable for investors who prefer a more predictable return on their investments. In this context, I've identified three dividend stocks that I believe are worth holding for the long haul. First on the list is AbbVie. AbbVie is widely recognized as one of the most successful biopharmaceutical companies in the world. The company's market capitalization is close to $350 billion, underscoring its substantial presence in the pharmaceutical industry. AbbVie is particularly well known for its impressive portfolio of blockbuster drugs, with nine of them generating significant revenue. Among these, Humira stands out as a drug that dominated the global market for years, earning the title of the world's top-selling drug for an extended period. What truly sets AbbVie apart, however, is its commitment to rewarding shareholders. Out of the thousands of publicly traded companies, only 53 have consistently increased their dividends for 50 or more years. These companies are often referred to as dividend kings, and AbbVie proudly belongs to this elite group. With a track record of 52 consecutive dividend hikes, AbbVie has demonstrated its dedication to maintaining and growing shareholder value. Currently, the company offers a forward dividend yield of over 3%, making it an attractive option for income-seeking investors. However, it is important to acknowledge that even a giant like Avi faces challenges. Humira's sales began to decline last year as competitors entered the United States market. This development was expected, as Humira's patent protection was set to expire, opening the door for rival products. While this decline in sales might have been a cause for concern, Avi's strategic approach to handling this situation highlights why it remains a great stock to own for the long term. In anticipation of Humira's patent expiration, Avi made substantial investments in research and development. The company focused on creating new drugs that could replace Humira's revenue stream. Additionally, AbbVie pursued strategic acquisitions to strengthen its pipeline and diversify its product offerings. As a result, the company now has two promising autoimmune disease drugs that are expected to surpass Humira's peak annual sales. These new therapies, along with a strong lineup of other successful products, position AbbVie for continued growth. Moreover, AbbVie's research pipeline is filled with potential winners that could further enhance the company's future prospects. All of these factors make AbbVie a compelling stock to hold over the long term. As the world's second largest home improvement retailer, Lowe's has a significant presence in the market, trailing only the Home Depot. The company's extensive store network and comprehensive product offerings make it a go-to destination for homeowners and contractors alike. Similar to AbbVie, the company has increased its dividend for 51 consecutive years, showcasing its commitment to providing consistent returns to its shareholders. Lowe's has also paid a dividend every quarter since going public in 1961, further emphasizing its reliability as a dividend-paying stock. Currently, the company's forward dividend yield stands at over 1.5%, offering a steady income stream for investors. One factor that could serve as a catalyst for Lowe's stock in the near future is a potential interest rate cut by the Federal Reserve. With interest rates currently at elevated levels, a reduction in rates seems increasingly likely. Additionally, lower rates might motivate more individuals to purchase new homes, which often leads to home improvement projects as well. Homes will always require maintenance and improvements, and this is especially true in the United States, where the median age of houses is over 40 years. As homes age, they naturally need repairs and upgrades ensuring a steady demand for home improvement products. Lowe's, with its extensive network of stores and wide range of offerings, is well positioned to benefit from this ongoing demand. This fundamental aspect of the housing market makes Lowe's a strong stock to hold over the long term. 
Lastly, let's discuss United Parcel Service. United Parcel Service, often referred to as UPS, holds the title of the largest package delivery company in the world. Last year, the company delivered an astounding average of 22.3 million packages per day. This impressive scale highlights United Parcel Service's dominance in the logistics and delivery industry. In addition to package delivery, the company is also a leader in the supply chain management sector, providing critical services to businesses around the globe. While United Parcel Service is not a dividend king like AbbVie and Lowe's, it has a strong track record of rewarding its shareholders. Since going public in 1999, United Parcel Service has never cut its dividend, maintaining a consistent payout to its investors. The company currently offers a forward dividend yield of nearly 5%, making it an appealing choice for income-focused investors. In the short term, United Parcel Service is well positioned for a turnaround. After nine quarters of declining US volume growth, the company finally saw a return to growth in quarter two of this year. This positive development indicates that United Parcel Service is beginning to recover from the challenges it faced during the pandemic and the subsequent economic disruptions. The company expects its earnings to increase in the second half of 2024, further bolstering its near-term outlook. However, the real reason to consider United Parcel Service as a long-term investment lies in the enduring demand for package delivery services. As e-commerce continues to grow, the need for efficient and reliable delivery services will only increase. United Parcel Service, with its extensive network and operational scale, is well equipped to meet this demand. The company's competitive advantage is its sheer size and reach, which would be extremely difficult and costly for a competitor to replicate. This strong moat positions United Parcel Service as a solid solid stock to buy and hold for the long term. In summary, AbbVie's strong pipeline and strategic planning, Lowe's enduring demand in the home improvement sector, and United Parcel Service's dominant position in the logistics industry make them all compelling choices for investors seeking stability and growth. These companies not only offer attractive dividend yields, but also have the potential for significant capital appreciation over time. For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.